Moving on. <laughs> Let's talk about uh, before we go into this topic. There's one more bit of newsy thing which is comic book related, which is that She-Hulk is having a sex change operation. No, that's not what's happening. <laughs> I was going to say that. That, that was. Well, no, we're just we're just losing the uh, she from the title, and the way it's sort of been talked about is that um, she's fucking pissed off. Like Jennifer Walters has always been able to keep a handle on things, um, doesn't really lose a shit like a typical Hulk and kind of go mental. Um, she did once in House of No, in Avengers Disassembled, for like a few pages. Um, but it's a rarity where she actually properly hawks out. And the the indication is, after being nearly killed, having her cousin murdered preemptively, and uh, recovering to find everyone's beating each other up, she's not very happy and she's going to kind of go on a bit of a mad one, is what I, can, what I can make out of it. But I think also it's kind of, it's the way Marvel is moving with its gender non-specific titles for books because it does kind of thor isn't isn't lady thor i just use that to kind of differentiate her from other thor when talking about her and him at the same time she's thor and that's how it should be and Mm. it shouldn't be you are the female one it should just be you are a character in your own right and you're interesting in your own right and so I think it's a positive move for them. Just to... yeah, I'm I'm inclined to agree with you on that. Like, it's they are pushing it's Hulk. Their... Oh, it's one of the Hulks. <laughs> That's the thing as well. I want, yeah. I'm interested to know what's going to happen to uh, Amadeus Cho. But um, oh, he's they going are pushing the fuck out of everyone. Everyone, um, everyone is going down. I don't know. His, <laughs> his book, his book from the solicitations, which we'll get into in a minute, seems to indicate that things are going to continue relatively normally. Yeah. The um they are pushing the female led titles. I don't know if do either of you follow the Women of Marvel podcast at all? No. Alright, so I listen to that and they've been I mean they've just gone through I think just over a hundred as far as I'm up to. And they they do a lot of work to like like you said, move away from putting gender importance onto their characters. And I think there's over twenty female led titles now. Yeah. Including obviously the the exceptional Squirrel Girl, which is which is good. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, conversely, I, I was I was browsing Reddit earlier on, and there was some page from a Daredevil book from back in the back in the sixties or whenever it was, and it was um, some bloke and woman watching Matt Murdock walk out the door, and this guy's talking about him, and this this woman says, "You know what? Sometimes I think." He's got. He's hiding something, but that might just be me. I'm a crazy woman, and this Ooh. was this was in the page of this book. So it, I mean, it's, we've obviously come a hell of a long way since yeah. there. Marvel are doing a lot of hard work to go that to keep going and make it equal, yeah. which is it's admirable. And I think dropping the she is, while it's obviously a character name, makes it mm. a bit more difficult. But she's. She's not really known as Hulk either. She's known as Jennifer Walters, yeah. the the attorney, and that's so dropping it from the from the title is not really a big issue for any sort of confusion. No. Um, anyone who follows the books knows what's happened to Cho and to Banner. Anybody who doesn't follow the books is in for a good surprise because she has some mm. cracking storylines and brings in Spider Woman as well, which is great fun. Yeah. Well, I think. Like the typical tone of her books tends to have a lot more fun, um, but I think this is a, this is the time where things are going to maybe get a bit more serious for her, which is going to be an interesting new side to the character, um, or yeah. not not necessarily new, but a bit of a fresh take, if you like. Who have they got writing it? Uh, that's a really good question. It's me, Mariko Tamaka Tamaki, oh. who I don't know. Um, but the real interesting one is Nico Leon is drawing it, and mm-hmm. he is the guy who did fill in on Spider Man. Was it Spider Man for the last couple of issues? Oh, the where, last couple. Oh, we were really right. oh, when it was very moody. It was yeah. Really yeah, good. So he, no, we didn't realize good. it. He's yeah. doing the art, so we are probably in for a that, visual treat, if nothing else. 
Yeah. Especially that's... like especially considering he already technically drew Hulk. Uh was yeah. she or she was in a hospital yeah, bed one page. Technically. Well yeah, yeah. Cool. <laughs> Shall we move on to the topic? Oh. Do you want to talk oh, hang on. Mariko Tamaki is predominantly an artist. Oh. oh. So this could this could prove interesting for you. Uh, known for saving Montgomery's soul, Tomb Raider. Um, tons of stuff that I've never read. You might have read it, but no. I don't read Nothing jumps out at all. Well, hopefully there was a very strong pitch and um, yeah. some some interesting work in the portfolio that got caught Marvel's attention and not just fucking grabbing people off the street and asking them to write <laughs> books. 